checking for collisions. In this first task, we're going to check for collisions by dragging components. We're going to start off by disabling all datum display types. In the ribbon, click drag components from the component group. Select and drag the arm of the assembly so the components collide with one another. Middle click to stop the drag. Set the collision detection settings. Click File, Prepare, Model Properties. The Model Properties window appears. Click Change in the collision detection line. The Collision Detection Settings dialog box appears. Click Global Collision Detection and then select the Sound Warning on Collision checkbox. Click OK in the Collision Detection Settings dialog box. Click Close in the Model Properties window. Click Drag Components from the Component Group. Select and drag the arm of the assembly so components collide with one another. You are now warned of collisions while dragging by both collision detection sound and the highlighted interference volume shown in the graphics area. If necessary, click Regenerate Model from the Quick Access Toolbar to return the components to their original regenerated position. In this next task, we're going to check for collisions by animating analysis results. In the ribbon, select Applications tab. Click Mechanism from the Motion Group. In the ribbon, click Playback from the Analysis Group. The Playbacks dialog box appears. Click Restore Results Set and double-click with translation.pbk file. Click Collision Detection Settings. The Collision Detection Settings dialog box appears. Select the Stop Animation Playback on Collision checkbox. Click OK in the Collision Detection Settings dialog box. Click Play Results Set in the Playbacks dialog box to open the Animate dialog box. The Animate dialog box appears. Click Play to start the animation. The animation stops at the first frame where a collision is detected. Click play approximately 12 times so that the animation will step through each frame where the collision is detected. The animation will then continue on until the next collision is detected. Middle click and drag to spin the model during the animation. Click Close to close the Animate dialog box. Click Close in the Playbacks dialog box. If necessary, click Regenerate Model from the Quick Access Toolbar to return the components to their original regenerated position. This completes this demonstration.